It's one of the most popular tools amongst crafters, and you can use it in a variety of projects. We're talking washi tape today. I use it all the time. And joining <laughs> us sure. in Creative Corner to tell us about it, Daisy Lynch Scrapbooking and Craft Ball in Mattoon. Karen Bryles is here. Hi, Karen. Hello. Uh, Heather assures me I was pronouncing that correct. It's washi tape? It is. Yeah, it's an oriental uh, crafting tape that has some decoration to it and the consistency or the stick of, wa of uh, masking tape. And so what I thought, what better way to make a or use a popular craft than actually kind of customize it and make it your own out of really, really simple products that maybe even you Tim, how you have in your house? Oh, I, I so don't know. wax paper. Nope. Oh. You don't have wax paper. Sure don't. Oh wow. Masking tape. Have, have you had a good rummage sale lately? <laughs> masking tape? No. I've got um, that. I See? no. I probably do have some masking tape somewhere. Okay, well, it's so simple. Let me show you. All you do is stick down your masking tape onto a sheet of wax paper. Uh, it does require some inks. I'm not saying you may have them, but uh, archival ink is going to give you a nice stamped image on the wax paper that's not going to blur and it's going to dry fast. And so what you simply do is take any of your stamps, rubber stamps, anything you want, whether you want florals or labels or animals or critters, and stamp the whole platform all with your images of your stamps. And then okay, we, so time out. We are making our own washi tape. We are tape. making that's what our we're doing? own washi tape. Okay. Oh. And, uh, Got so it. So you stamp it and then let it dry. It does need a little bit of dry time. You can heat set it. And so what I've done here is brought some that I've already stamped with all these little fun images. I like, I'm kind of into the whole rustic, shabby, chic thing. So I've let those dry. How do you heat set it? Uh, a heat gun. Just oh. a little, it's kind of like a hair dryer. It just gives it a little bit of a, a set to it so it's not going to blur. And then take any of your inks. You can use anything you got on hand, whether it's a water reactive or um, another color of ar archival. And you're just going to color in the areas that are around the stamps. You go right over it, it shows through. And then don't worry about it being too busy or the color palette because you're gonna peel off and use these as individual um, lines of sticker tape. So here's what I've got. This one is just simply pulled off. You left kind of a rough edge and I made a really cute handmade card with it. And then here's where I've used it on a junk journal page. Remind everybody what a junk journal I is. I know. It's like the most fun crafting right now. Uh, it is a, it's a mixed media journal. It can be uh, a place where you write actual journal notes to um, yourself. You can put in scripture, uh, little tidbits of things that you found. You can do crafting projects on the different pages. It's just really a free way to uh, have, a, have a book of expressions and, and creativity. So, so today's project, we're creating a craft to create a craft. We're creating a craft to create a craft. That is tricky. That's like double craft I for know, your money. I know, it is. And, and this tape then is used to, you can essentially do it, whatever you like with Correct. it. Correct, yeah. In, in a class we did, I wrapped, um, and everybody got to wrap an ink pen and made a handmade pen out of it. Uh, it's a great okay. kids project because there again, you can't go wrong. It's really a fun, freeing thing because there's no rhyme or reason to it and you don't have to follow a certain pattern. You've got a workshop coming up at the shop. We have junk journal workshops um, every month, all the time, and, and it's more and more. And this is a project that we actually did do in it. So, um, but it's just whether you, even if you're not a junk journaler, it's card making, it's scrapbooking. Um, everybody wants washi tape, and so what a great opportunity to make your own with just some of the supplies that you may or may not have on hand. <laughs> I would think that'd be a little more um, economical than buying. Oh rolls yeah, of washi what's a roll too? of masking tape like two bucks maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody has wax paper except for everybody this except for, for me. Oh, we so can remedy that. He can take my extra. I have DoorDash. Yeah. I don't need wax paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, Karen, thanks so much. That was so yeah. fun. Interesting. Appreciate it. There's a look at their upcoming workshop, Christmas time accordion album, um, happening next weekend. So, gotta register. All the details will be at ciliving.tv.